Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing the kit reveal of the future 1.6 character Ruan Mei. I'll be looking at her entire kit and taking a first look at what she is designed to do. And then giving my first impressions about how I feel about her overall and see if she's going to be a good character. So let's get right into it starting with her basic attack called an Orchard Needle. Deals ice damage equal to 100% of Ruan Mei's attack to a single enemy. Okay, so generic basic attack. Moving on to her skill called Strings sing in slow twirls. After using her skill, Ruan Mei gains over tune. That lasts for two turns. The duration of the state decreases by one at the start of Ruan Mei's each turn. When Ruan Mei has over tune, all ally speed increases by 16% and weakness break efficiency increases by 50%. Okay, judging by her, it looks like she's going to be a character prioritizing the speed of characters and also, interestingly, increasing the break efficiency of characters, which is something we haven't really seen yet. So hearing that increases by 50% it looks like she's going to be a character that helps your other characters basically deplete the weakness of the enemy very fast allowing them to put the enemies in the weakness state which will allow them to deal even more damage moving on to her ultimate shake the flow clean the cloth raw may opens up a field that lasts for two turns and reduces by one at the start of each turn increases all type penetration for all allies inside the field by 20% applying Simran to every enemy hit. Simran extends weakness break duration for enemies trying to recover from it, plus also delays action for 15% of real mace break effect, plus 10% while dealing additional ice damage equal to 150% of real mace ice break damage. Enemy targets cannot have Simran reapplied until recovering from weakness break. So judging from this, not only does her ultimate increase the damage of your characters overall by giving them the all time penetration buff by 20% which is very good but also in my opinion a very good and useful debuff to enemies where it extends to weakness break duration which will actually make breaking enemies weakness much more valuable than regularly breaking their weakness because generically when an enemy receives a weakness break they enter the weakness state and when their turn is about to come up they automatically get out of the weakness state and just automatically take a turn they just take a turn as like nothing happens making break effect not really a valuable stat to go for but with this it actually makes it a lot more valuable if she is able to extend the weakness break duration for enemies and also delaying the action of their turn taking place just make this a very very useful debuff and it also gives a lot of value to break effect itself because this scales off roommates break effect so overall my first impressions of her ultimate is actually really nice moving on to her talent simitopical helix Damage for all allies increases by 30% Ooh, after breaking an enemy's weakness or attacking a weakness broken enemy additionally deals additional ice damage equal to 12% of roommate's ice break damage. Oh, okay. Her talent is basically just 30% more damage bonus, which is actually pretty damn nice. And it deals a little bit more extra break effect damage, I guess. Moving on to her technique. Wipe the strings and sweep the sleeves. Obtains wipe the strings and sweep the sleeves after using the technique at the start of the battle automatically triggers for one time an effect equal to her skill. Triggering this effect does not consume skill points. When Rume has the buff actively attacking a target in similar universe to enter battle will be regarded as attacking their weakness to enter battle. And this attack can deplete toughness regardless of weakness types for all enemies. When afflicting weakness break in this way triggers weakness break corresponding to the weakness type of the attack. With every blessing in possession increases toughness damage of this attack by 100% at the same time increased break damage equal to 100% of real maze ice break damage okay seems like a very useful technique it sucks it's only useful in similar universe but nonetheless it makes it very useful i guess Moving on to her traces, her first trace buff, Breathing Organism, increases break effect for all allies by 20%, making very useful of the break effect buff that she gives to allies. Her second buff, Time Grows Reverie, Raw May regenerates 5 energy at the start of the battle, a generic energy buff I guess. And her third one, Wax Strips, Water Burns, when Raw May is on the field, increases damage dealt to weakness broken enemies by 24%, which is very very nice. I would say as a Harmony character, 
character, she is looking like a character that gives a lot of good buffs and debuffs. And the stats that she gives from her traces is defense percent, speed, and break effect. Now judging on how her kit is designed, it does seem like there's only really two stats that she really cares about, speed and break effect, and also energy regeneration, but you only get that from your link rope. So if I were to say on how you would like to farm for her in terms of relics, I would say if you would like to give her the four piece speed set, cause it looks like that's the only four piece that's really good. I know people are going to be saying the break effect set, but I wouldn't recommend the four piece set of that because she's not really the one dealing the break effect on it in like the beginning of the rotation because she's mainly going to be prioritizing using her skill in ultimate, but the two piece is very useful. So I would say if you don't want to farm for the four piece speed set, then two piece break and two piece speed is also very fine. In terms of substats, really you're mainly going for speed and break effect, considering that the buff from her ultimate does scale off her break effect. So mainly just those two and for the link rope i would definitely recommend energy because energy regeneration for her ultimate is definitely going to be very valuable so i would definitely go with that instead of more break effect and moving on to her analogs in case you are interested in pulling multiple copies of her starting with her first one overtune's duration is extended by one turn when ruan main has overtune all allies attack is increased by 40 percent a very nice attack buff to give to your allies for second one when an enemy's weakness is broken ruan main's Break effect increases by 100% for two turns. More break effect for Ruan mains, I guess. A good way to get more break effect. Her fourth one, when Ruan Mei is on the field, increases crit damage inflicted by allies and against weakness broken enemies by 40%. Okay, a nice buff to allow your allies to deal more damage to weakness broken enemies. And her sixth one, the field generated by the ultimate lasts for one turn longer when Ruan Mei's break effect is over 180%. For every 10% over this value, her ultimate deals 24% more damage up to a maximum of something percent because at the time of recording the value for this isn't really understood or stated so it's kind of up in the air for right now but considering that this is an e6 i would definitely think this is a very good value however considering that is her own ultimate damage from the ice break effect damage i would think her e6 isn't as valuable to your allies but is just a nice way to make her deal a little bit more extra damage i guess so in terms of her outlaws i am not really impressed by it i would definitely say if you want to pull multiple copies of her judging from from this i would say go for her e1 mainly and not really care about the other ones and then lastly moving on to her five star light cone instantly regenerates 10 energy for the wearer at the start of each wave increases damage dealt for all allies by 15 percent after the wearer uses a skill increases all type penetration for all speed boosted allies by six percent lasts for three turns okay i would definitely think this is a very good harmony light cone not only does she regenerates energy every turn but also increases the damage dealt and also all type penetration which is very nice for three turns total Total, which is very good in my opinion so i would definitely say her light cone is a very good one to get and that is raw main's entire kit in my first impressions of her is that i think she's going to be a very interesting character concerning that she buffs the break effect efficiency and basically increases the damage of your allies especially against weak and broken enemies and also debuffs enemies from getting out of the weakness broken state while also delaying their turn from taking action where on top of that i think overall she's gonna be a very good support now obviously since this is a early version of her kit no doubt that she will receive any changes from her kit, but we will have to wait and see. Overall, I am very impressed by her kit, and I'm very excited for her release. So that's going to be my Ron Maze kit reveal analysis. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, then definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video to support it, check out my Twitch if you want to catch my live streams over there. The link will be in the description below. That's it for today, and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.